The psychopathy checklist, the dominant traits. People grow into becoming psychopaths, and this is because while they're growing, no one was able to check their attitude and behavior to correct them early enough until they eventually grew with the lifestyle and now are using it to manipulate and destroy the lives of others. Psychopathy may be dangerous because its traits are not good to an average human, but in the fields of politics, some of the traits of psychopathy can be very useful. Many of the traits we seek in leaders, such as fearlessness, and dominant behavior, and immunity to stress, are found in psychopaths. Also, someone might possess some of these traits and still not be a psychopath. But if a person possesses more than half these traits, then he's undoubtedly a psychopath. Number one, they have superficial charm and a great sense of self-worth. A psychopath is always fluent in everything he does and has no room for mistakes. He's also a person with a charming personality. People almost always love him. In a situation where he needs to convince you into doing anything for him or her, the psychopath will stop at nothing until the plan is achieved. They're very proud. There's nothing or anyone better than a psychopath. They never accept the fact someone else is better. And if you try to prove you're better than the psychopath in one way, he always makes sure he brings in another way where he's better than you. They're so proud of themselves, some don't even have time to listen to the advice of others. Even if you try to force the psychopath into listening to you, he looks at you as boring, as if not being fun to be with, and they don't like anything or place that's boring, and they're always looking for where things are happening, and they're always part of something or creating something. Boredom kills them and their vibes, so anything that's trying to kill the fun they're having gets them sad, even though sometimes this fun might even be at the expense of another's happiness. Psychopaths don't care. Number two, they are extreme liars and cunning. Psychopaths don't care about anything or anyone else except themselves. They find it easy to say different things at different times about one subject matter. They're very dishonest in their way of lifestyle. There's nothing about them that's true. And even if they happen to tell you the truth, you might still need to be very sure they're not toying with you. A psychopath will give so many excuses just to prove why he didn't keep his promise. He makes sure this particular lie is covered with another lie. And just like that, he keeps on covering one lie with another and their masters at lying and they never lose. It's as if they have a bank where they store lies and each time they get one from the store and pour it out on their victims. The psychopath doesn't even care that you know he's a liar. But once you tell him to his face that he's one, he gets paranoid that you don't trust him. And before you know it, he's playing another trick on you so he can get you out of the way. When they have you in their web, they can be very manipulative. They make you take blame for everything that happens in their lives. They can trick you into doing things which are dangerous to you and your health. And they have the power to manipulate a victim to bend to their every will. A psychopath is always looking for ways to use you. He doesn't consider you his friend, but a victim. Number three, they're cold, heartless, and live parasitic lifestyles. A psychopath doesn't care if you're happy or sad. He does not want to see you happy at all. He derives so much joy when he sees you suffering. Your pain is his joy, and he doesn't care about you or anyone. Your feelings don't matter to him. He's cold. And heartless. When a psychopath sees people being together in happiness, and maybe a potential target is there, he comes into their midst and makes sure he scatters them from each other. He makes sure he turns their hearts from each other. To him, that's the fun part of his life, turning people against each other so his victim becomes vulnerable for him to prey on. He doesn't want to do anything meaningful with his life. All he wants is for people to do everything for him. There's nothing that breaks the heart of a psychopath. Their hearts are hardened, and because of this, they don't know what is called remorse. They never show any sign of remorse for any wrongdoing that they commit because they don't care. Even if something happens and everyone is emotional, the psychopath doesn't care because he doesn't do the emotion thing. 
Psychopaths prefer not to work for a living. They feel it's easier to take stuff from other people. They believe it's their right to demand things and have all that they've demanded. They don't care what it takes to get them. They just want it and must get it. Number four, they have poor behavioral controls and are promiscuous. They're the kingpins of bad behavior. If you meet a child who has the attitude of being stubborn and is always fighting, always showing signs of bad behavior, check that child out well. He or she just might have the traits of a psychopath embedded in him. They lack morals in every possible way, and this is because they don't care about anything that happens. They have serious anger management issues. Little things get them angry, and when they are angry, some of them get dangerous, but also, at the same time, they're very smart in that they still see that as an opportunity to exploit you intellectually. And if you're not careful, they'll start the problem, and you'll take the fall for it. They're involved in so many ill vices, and they even have crazy sex lifestyles. A psychopath can have a wife, but can hardly stay with one woman. Remember, they feel they are entitled to everything, so they feel they're entitled to taste every woman they want, and no woman should say no to them. Number five, they have a history of child abuse and do not take responsibility. At some point, we don't have to blame the psychopath for his behavior, because if it's traced back to their childhood days, it's found that most of them were abused during those days, and they had issues of juvenile delinquency, and this gave them the morale to be cruel to other children who were always around them. Whenever they did this, they were never blamed for their actions because they always pushed the blame to someone else and were believed. So they grew with that mindset to do whatever they wished and to never take responsibility for anything because they feel someone else is supposed to take the fall at all times. This leaves them with a sense of no responsibility. They'll do anything just to escape taking responsibility for their actions. This is the major reason they're very good at lying, because they don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They never admit mistakes or take to a fault, but rather will defend themselves. And they do this very well and are even ready to take that defense to their graves. I hope you enjoyed my explanation. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of subsequent videos. And lastly, find links to abundant resources on psychopathy at the description section below. Thanks for watching.